Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a bug salt gun out of just a few little items. If you have one of these uh, BB guns that shoot CO2 cartridges and the bullets look like this right here. Let's see. They're hollow. You put a BB in the end of this right at the tip. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is salt. And I just so happen to have this in the house. Um, it actually has some uh, pretty good sized grains. I'll show you that when I get to it. And the next thing you're going to need is either a doggy pad or a bed pad. And I'll, I use this to work on my guns on the table. And so it's a little bit dirty, but that's okay because it ain't going to matter. You can see. So it's just a bed pad, like for people that mess their bed up. And that's not poo-poo. That's grease from my guns. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little corner off of this thing. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Doesn't take much. A little goes a long way. Sorry, I dropped it. Little goes a long ways. All right. And that right there is enough to do what you got to do. Okay, we've moved into the house and it's Halloween, so what a better way to do it than on top of the pumpkin uh, placemat. All right, I got a couple more things that I wanted to add. Okay, you're gonna need your salt. And everybody has a Q-tip, you know, with a wooden stick. Something like that, you can use the end of a pen, it doesn't really matter and maybe a little bowl to keep uh, to catch all the stuff you know and kind of make a clean place to work and this is the bonus right here we'll talk about that in a minute and also if you can go and pick up a little funnel this is what I use for reloading cases seems to work perfect um, that's not necessary you can roll up a piece of paper and use that the same but this just happens to work and I had it and I've got some birds that are chirping. They always chirp when I talk. All right, and we've got our little gun here. I'm gonna give you a close up. Let's see. Apparently everything's in the way. Um, Black Ops, pick these up at Walmart. Used to be able to, I don't know that they still sell them. CO2. Loaded pellet gun. Black Ops. All right, we'll just set that down right there. Okay. This happens to be, let's do it this way. This happens to be a six round. And I've already test fired a couple, so that's why those are in there. We'll pull those out. You're gonna love this. This is awesome. Should be one more floating around. Where'd it go? I think it's six round. Yeah. Okay, one more. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alrighty then. I wonder if this is the right one. If you have a speed loader makes it even more fun than your real professional then. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that little piece of um, bed pad stuff. Look at this. That's, co that's cotton inside of there. And you know what the beauty of this is? I don't know if it's cotton, maybe it's shredded paper, but it just 
falls apart. I don't know if you can see this through my black shirt, but watch, I'll sprinkle it. Look at that. It's powder. So you definitely want to be aware of that, but I mean, it just, it's powder. That's what makes it so nice because there's not going to be any um, wads shooting out because it just turns to dust. But it works as a great um, plug in the beginning. So what you do is just take a little pinch. Okay. I don't know how big you'd say that is, but it's just a little pinch. Because you're going to roll it up kind of like a BB. You know, or you can roll it cylindrical, which I've done a couple times. You know, where'd it go? Oh, okay. You can roll it up like this. Then you're gonna stuff it down in there. And this is where the stick comes into place. Just cr push these down so that you have something to stop against and just cram them all the way down to the bottom. Okay, just like that right there. And when you're done, it's gonna look like that. And if it's protruding a little bit and that bothers you, just stuff it back in there a little bit more like that. Just push it in. Okay. You're gonna do that to all of these. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm telling you, this stuff is just, it just falls apart and makes dust. But the nice thing is that it compacts really beautifully. All right. So let's cram all those down in there. My son's oh. home, what? so if you hear some noise, he just got home. Oh yeah. His birds are happy to see him. Hi. They heard me. They started chirping. Hello. Hi. It's because I know I have food. Anyways, we got a our first culprit just flew in and landed on my shoulder. It's a fly. So I don't know if he'll be around when I'm finished doing this. And obviously, you can tell this is not, you know as nice as the Buggo salt gun, so give those guys credit for being able to do pump action. But, I like a little more power. I think this has a little more power. All right, so they're all full of cotton. Okay, so you can take this little piece and move it out of the way. You don't need it no more. And now, I take my little uh, funnel and I hold it over the top and you can you can just pour this stuff in this salt or you can grab a pinch and to your own liking but I can kind of see down in there so I'm gonna fill it up until I almost start to see the salt about right there And it's okay if you get a little extra because you can dump it out. You can even use your little stick to cram it down in there. See, like that one's really full. I might have done too much. to make sure that we got it all in there real good. I'm going to test the uh, the height with my stick because 
sometimes those little strings will hold up the actual salt a bit. The nice thing about using a um, bowl like this is you can pour it back into your salt shaker. You don't waste anything. And there might even be a way that eventually I can just measure the grains of salt with my little scale like I do powder. And then I'll know exactly how much I'm getting in there. But for now, we're just going to wing it because it's more fun that way. I got definitely too much in there, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit out. All right. And when you get done, you're going to look in there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. And you'll see, I'm not all the way to the top, but it's full of salt. Okay? And obviously you know why. Because we got to put another plug in the top. I guess I need to wire it up. Goes in there a little better. Oh man, that bird is loud. Look at that, folks. Look how that just crams right in there. Not sure what happened with this one. Looks like I may have lost my packing. Okay, we're gonna just dump this one out. It's real easy to do, and we'll start over. Because I'm really not sure what happened. Actually, I might have jammed this one up. Just like anything, it'll jam up. There you go. Yeah, there's my wadding right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start over with this. Give me a nice clean spot. I'm gonna take this wadding and stuff it in there. This is actually my first time loading up. I've only done two and it worked, so I stopped. I wanted to make a video. So I guess I'll figure out down the way some of the goods and the bads about it. I guess the first thing I'd say is you don't want to pack it too tight. Let's pour some more salt in there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, there we go. Five cartridges loaded up. All right. I'm gonna load these guys up in here. We'll blow the tops off, get rid of all the salt.
Sorry, y'all. I was watching what I was doing. You can't see. But I'm loading them in. And I see one of them. I didn't push the packing all the way down. Right here. So it's got salt in it, but not near it as much. So when we get to that, you'll know it. All right. The angle of my camera makes it a little hard for me to work. So I'll be back after I get my target set up. Okay, there's my makeshift uh, paper target. And it's about three foot across the table. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to go at somewhere around uh, four feet. That way you can see what it does. And then we'll get closer if we need to. Hopefully y'all can see me. I'm going to be at about four feet here. Right about here. Let's see. I'll try to aim. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. Look at this, folks. Can y'all see that all right? Look at that spread. I'd say that's a pretty good job. See what it looks like on the back side. Man, that looks pretty good. I'd say that was awesome. All right. Whoops, my tape's come loose. Sorry about the wiggling. I'm on a little tripod here. Okay, let me refocus for you. All right, let me tape it back up. It's kind of windy today, and I'm just, you know, doing this on the fly. All right, now let's finish it off, and I'll pop a couple real close. Look at that. Look at that. One up in the corner. Ooh, one in the other corner. Nice. One down low. Oh. I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. All right. So, there you go. Just so you can see, that's the real deal there. Look at that. That, that's what you do if you you can get close enough to the sucker. And here's one. Let's see. It just up in the top corner here I was aiming for. Let's look at the back of this thing. Look at the carnage. Look at the carnage. This one is the light load right here. That's the one I didn't get enough of. But hey. That's pretty impressive. Of course, I shot the center out some more. That's good. And here's when you get up close, you're going to blow out a hole big time. And that one right there was devastating if that was a fly. Right there. So, there you go. I got some bonus uh, footage. And now I'm going to add to this. Alright, here goes the bonus footage. If you got any of these little decascent packages, silicone, and there's probably other things you can use, they end up looking like this right here. Ah, I bet you know where I'm going with that, don't you? Okay, now there is a deal. These, these little bullets, you can't probably see it. It won't transfer very nice on the screen. Um, look at that. That one still has a cotton in it. That might have been the light load. Not sure what happened with that one, but it still went off, so... Okay, 
Anyways, it doesn't matter. You're going to have salt all over your house if you're shooting these things inside. All right. Uh, you might not be able to tell, but these things are kind of uh, concaved. And I guess it starts back here. It's kind of a bigger hole, gets to a smaller hole, so that it forces the air down the center. So this is important. You want to make sure that these little BBs, see those little BBs right there? Or little gel things? You want to make sure they drop through the hole. That one did not drop through. See that? Didn't drop through. So I've come up with a little solution and you can do whatever you want but this is what I've come up with so what I do is I pour them in there give it a shake and everything that falls through most likely and you can pick out the big ones most likely let's do a couple more just for the fun of it Ooh, these are clear ones. I like that even better. Okay. And you can, makes it easy to see any of the big pieces when you do it this way. Now, watch. When I put this in, it should fall right through. See that? Do it again. There it goes, falls right through the center. Now you know that's gonna work. So, I bet you can guess what I'm fixing to do. I'm not gonna load them all, just for time's sake. Because you guys have already spent enough time, actually. That piece is a little bit compact. So, like I said, I'm doing this on the fly, y'all. Really not sure how all these properties work, but I'm gonna modify it as I go along. Okay. My little funnel. I'm gonna make this a, um, let's make it an eight shot. Eight buckshot. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one to grow on. I'm gonna make it nine shots. There we go. Let's take it outside and give it a run. Okay. There, yeah, that's gonna look nice there. I want you to see the full effect. Right there, okay. So I'm gonna hold it here and right, right here is about a foot and a half. I can easily sneak up on a fly that close or a bug or whatever. So here we go. Hopefully I get the spread and it's all, not all down the center. I want you to see all nine pellets. See, I'm going to back up a little bit. Yeah, here's where we're going to do it. Right here. Okay. Oh, that's kind of tricky. Hey, dog, get out of my shot. Can't shoot you with some salt or some silicone. All right. Yeah, there you go. All right, man, this is tricky. I don't know how those guys do that on YouTube where they hold the sights. All right, here we go. I can't even see it. My eyes are bad. Okay, it's going to be close enough. Ooh, look at that. I can see them already.
That's probably where I was aiming. See nine big holes in there? That's what I'm talking about. That's for larger varmints, like wasp. And hopefully you don't miss and they come stinging you. That's it. That's the bonus for footage. Well, I thought about showing you the back of it, so I've taken it off, and let's see if we can count the nine holes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's three of them right there. Nine holes. I don't know, maybe a... I don't know what you could shoot with that. It spreads pretty far. That's about... Man, about an inch and a half at a foot and a half. That wouldn't be good for uh, small varmints. I don't think you can get a foot and a half from them. But it's fun. Whatever.